When we need to compare different qualities of people or things, though, we use the comparative degree. And the comparative degree is formed by using an adjective with the ER ending and than, or by using the structure more than with an adjective. However, if we want to say that something is different to the highest degree over any other thing, then we use what is called the superlative degree in English. And the superlative is formed by the adjective with an EST ending, or by saying the most with an adjective. Now, I hope that you remember when to use ER and EST endings, as well as when to use more and most. However, it will be very useful to systematize your knowledge at this point. With one-syllable adjectives, you simply add the ER or the EST endings. For example, high, higher, the highest. Or another example, young, younger, the youngest. And finally, cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. For one-syllable adjectives with short vowels followed by a single consonant, the structure changes a little bit. So look at the example, big. When we make big into bigger, we double the consonant, b-i-g-g-e-r. And the same for the superlative form, the biggest. We can also say hot, hotter, using the same rule, and the hottest. And finally, fit, fitter, and the fittest. For adjectives ending in Y, we still use the ER and the EST endings. However, the Y changes to the letter I. For example, busy, busier, the busiest, spelled B-U-S-I-E-S-T. Or another example, happy, happier, happiest. Or finally, pretty, prettier, the prettiest. For adjectives which are two or more syllables, we simply use more or most. So for example, intelligent, more intelligent, the most intelligent. Or another example, beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. However, be careful because there are some exceptions to these rules. For example, good. Good becomes better and the best. Also, bad. Bad becomes worse and the worst. Far will become further or farther and the furthest or the farthest. Little, if we're talking about size, becomes smaller and the smallest. However, if you're talking about the amount of something, small or little will become less and the least. Similarly, if we're talking about much or many, then both will transform into more and the most. And finally, old will transform into either older or elder and the oldest or the eldest. The difference between elder and older is that elder refers to respect. It can be someone's rank, position, experience, or even age. For example, my elder brother. I have a brother who is older than me, but I also respect him. The word older only refers to age. My brother is older than me. This is a simple fact and nothing more.
So if we want to talk about adverbs, first we should admit that most adverbs in English end in ly. And you can very often make the adverb form of a word by simply adding ly to the adjective. For example, the adjective nice becomes the adverb nicely. Beautiful, beautifully, slow, slowly. Arrogant, arrogantly, quiet, quietly, complete, completely, self-conscious, a little bit longer, but still self-consciously, cheerful, cheerfully, hypocritical, hypocritically, angry, angrily, and please note the change in spelling here, natural and naturally. Don't forget that there are also some adjectives that end in ly, such as lonely. These adjectives cannot become adverbs as such. However, there is a way to do this. For example, we usually use the structure in a adjective way. And this functions the same way as an adverb. So, for example, in a friendly way or in a silly way. We can also say in a silly manner. These both mean the same thing. Way and manner are synonyms. Some adverbs also have high degrees of comparison. And to form these, they have their own sets of rules. For any monosyllabic, or one-syllable adverbs, these will all follow the same rules as adjectives. Hard becomes harder and the hardest. Fast becomes faster and the fastest. Same for quick, quicker, and the quickest. And early, earlier, and the earliest. For adverbs ending in ly, we simply add more or the most. For example, beautifully turns into more beautifully or the most beautifully. And finally, be careful with the exceptions here. Well becomes better and the best. Badly or poorly becomes worse and the worst. Little becomes less and the least. And finally, much becomes more and the most. The final point I'd like to bring your attention to now is the correct order of adverbs within a sentence. Generally, the correct position of an adverb is before the main verb. However, if we have auxiliary verbs, the adverb will come after the auxiliary verbs. If there is more than one, it becomes after the first auxiliary verb. And finally, if you have more than one adverb, they go in a specific order. The order is manner, place, and then time. Like in the example, he was quietly playing on his computer in his room until 6 o'clock in the evening. Manner, place, and time. So with that, we'll wrap up our discussion today about adjectives and adverbs. In addition to this lecture, please study the additional materials in the tables that have been provided. See you next lesson.